What do you got out here? Well, we got the, uh, we call it the Hillbill E Deluxe. It's actually yeah. my good buddy Snow's truck. Yeah, this thing came together like really quickly. Yeah? Yeah, the remote kit, we just bolted the, the motor in. It took 20, 30 minutes to drop it in, put it up. Um, but the wiring, eh, it took us a couple hours. The four link under the back is what took the majority of the time. And I'm gonna compliment Eddie B on his welding skills. He welded all this in, cage and uh, four link, rear end, everything. Let's show everybody what a rebolt looks like. That's All right, let's do it. She's way down inside there. That's okay. We'll they get a the telescoping lens. <laughs> so this is our revolt motor. It's uh, the 43 Bravo. That's the model number on it. It does run the AM EV controls as well. Everything underneath this nice shiny shell right here is the inverter. The motor sits behind it. It's coupled to a torque trans torque box for reduction. And then that goes straight into a drive line to go to the rear end. So the setup is super simple. It's four bolts, holds the whole entire motor in. Like Snow just said, it took us 30 minutes to take the motor out, put it all back in. Two big motor mounts in front and a turbo 400 mount in the back. So something that everyone's used to. Tons of room for a couple of guys to work on it. Actually, him and I were sitting right here, and in tools back to each other, wiring it up. We have the AEM controls. Yep. So that does basically everything. Because right. we really want to get a little bit more power out of it. Yeah. And we hear that you guys are the ones that do that. I got enough battery in this thing to move a building. The battery that's in this vehicle actually came out of the little giant triple four car, which is the fastest electric car on the planet. That battery we designed to sustain 3,000 amps with two motors. Being able to hit something with that much voltage on a motor like this, that's only using half the amount of current. We barely even saw a voltage sack yesterday after full power. Wow. So with your guys' new controller, yeah. um, we can really see what, what it could do because I don't know anybody that's run a battery this stiff on a LDU yet. So I'm, I'm, I'm expecting anything, you know, over 10 seconds in a quarter, I would be disappointed. I'm just throwing it out there. Yeah. You know, yeah, we go big. We're racing. We want to be able to tweak certain parameters, and mm -hmm. that's why we can't wait to get the AEM stuff. So. Good, yeah. Well, and then we'll get you all bougie, and we'll, like, tell him he's got to put air conditioning in for you, you know. I got room for it. <laughs> exactly. There's room for days in there. Heck, you could put a hammock in there and take a nap. This truck just rolled into our three months ago. Three, yeah. months, three months ago. I found this in Texas. I went out there. I picked it up for 1500 bucks. brought it back to the shop. He and I pulled the motor out. We sold it for 1300 bucks. He started with a $200 truck. Well, I'm riding 2.0. That's this right. This is what guys did in the 50s, only they did it with a Chevy V8.